What's up you guys, KD3 here, and I already got a guide for you guys even though this game just came out. I'm going to show you how to get EXP super fast, so make sure you stay tuned. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! Alright, so I'm going to give you a method based on how far you are in the game. If you're still like early in the game, what... I would suggest you do is you get Tamlin as soon as possible. You got to be at least level 32 to fuse it. It has a skill called Efficiency Aficionado. And if you're early game, what you want to do is you want to have as many personas as you can, like maybe like three or four. Inherit Efficiency Aficionado. Put it on your preferred teammates and then go replay certain quests. Since I can't talk about anything past the Second Kingdom, I would recommend you do missions 23 and 27 and just replay those over and over again. They're super easy to beat. You can beat them in a couple minutes and you'll be completely fine. You'll be getting EXP super quick. You'll level up really fast with that. Now, if you're later game, I have a different method for you, of course, because this won't be as efficient. If you're like level 70, 71, whatever, you're trying to get to level 99 I got a method for you you'll still need Tamlin for it though so what we're gonna do is so first before like before we start I'm gonna show like you the persona, the persona we're together. gonna be doing this with so Tamlin's one of them and then the other one is Dion Dion is this the reason is because these two personas are the only ones in the game that have exp boosting passives this one has knack for conflict, which is better than efficiency aficionado. But what people don't know is that you can actually stack these. You can have both of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make we're gonna make a Dionysus that has both skills. Are you so finished? to start that first, if you don't have Tamlin, get it. Make your but you need to fuse Tamlin with Thor, and we're gonna make Ganesha. You're gonna pass on efficiency aficionado to Ganesha. We're gonna skip that. Hopefully we don't get an accident. So something I've noticed about this game is that fusion accidents tend to happen way more often. I don't know if it's just my luck is bad, but I can't believe it with how often it's happened to me. I played throughout my entirety of playing Persona 5 Royal. The mistakes I've had without the alarm. The mistakes I've had I don't even think I've had five mistakes yet in Persona 5 Royal. In this game, I've already had eight. Two of them back to back. I couldn't believe it. Anyways, let's get back to this. So we have Ganesha made. So now we need to fuse. We need to fuse Ganesha with Alitot to make Dionysus. And we're gonna put efficiency aficionado on there. Is this persona acceptable? One moment, please. And it's it's made. There it is. is I'm overwrite. And yeah, that's it. So, like I said, I'm not going outside the velvet room because I'm pretty much at end game, and I don't want. It, I'm pretty sure if I show anything outside of this velvet room right now, I'm violating Atlas's request. So I'm not going to do that. But what I will say is that if you're in early game, I'd say farm quests 23 and 27 because you can beat those pretty quick. Uh, get Tamlin, uh, pass on efficiency aficionado to a few personas, put them on your teammates, farm EXP that way. Late game, make this Dionysus I just showed you with efficiency, aficionado, and knack for conflict or whatever it's called. Yeah, knack for conflict. And you should be level 99 in no time. I say that as I'm level 80. <laughs> but I'm about to abuse this method myself too. If you're going to be doing any farming of any sort, Yusuke is a must have on your squad because he's got better movement than any other character in the game and he's definitely got the skill set for it so as you can see here he gets speed master so he gets suku kaja right off the bat and then you can upgrade that later to auto masuku kaja 
and Speedmaster, Masuku Kaja, whatever. Super important skills in this game because they increase your movement and movement is very important in tactical RPGs, at least in Mega 10 tactical RPGs. I don't know about other ones, but if you're playing Mega 10, whether it be Persona or SMT, you want movement. Movement's very important. That's why you're also gonna want these two skills right here, stop and go and godlike speed. These are gonna ensure that you reach wherever it is you wanna go and that you take out the targets as fast as possible when you're farming. Every party member has stop and go and godlike speed, so you can get them on those guys too, but Yusuke is going to be your primary focus because he already has amazing movement. So make sure you get movement skills. If you can get speed master on a persona, make sure you do that too. That's an early game skill that you can get and you can pass that around pretty easily. So make sure you get whatever skills boost up your movement. All right. So while I can't show you my actual grinding quest because of Atlas's sharing restrictions, I can just let you know it's mission 43. That's the one you want to farm. You can beat it in like two turns, especially if you know what you're doing or just lower the difficulty to safety or whatever, because if you're farming, why not? No harm in it. But for people who aren't that far yet, who want a good farming place you want missions 23 and 27 you can farm these very easily and you can beat them in like two turns all right so i need to swap i need to swap uh, personas so yeah so i got my i got my end game personas on but i need my easy monies right now so shiva actually no I'll i'm gonna put ganesha on on joker there's ganesha because treasure hunter and easy money then we're gonna put shiva on morgana and then we're gonna put the sand dolphin Go. Yusuke gets Sand Dolphin. Those are my easy money personas. So we're gonna start. I'm gonna get the one more off this enemy here. Check this out. I'm gonna go up here. Then I'm gonna move. Actually, no, I sh I'm, I'm gonna move Morgana right here because his movement's better. Wait, what am I doing? There's no enemy up here. Can't do that. But I can do this. That works. Alright, I'm gonna get this one more off this frightened enemy. The enemies are gonna respawn. So I'm gonna go up here. To do. So yeah, I know, I know what to do right here. So I'm going to reposition Joker right here. You don't have to do all this stuff. If you want to just beat him, you can beat him. So check this out. I'm just getting the follow-up so I can get a one more. Okay, he's going to go up there. But n since he's done that, uh, since we attacked him, he's exposed now. So we're going to do that. We're going to get another one more. And that's it. Wiped him out in one turn. And we should get 11,600 Zenny. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, we got 15,552. Alright, so, uh, I guess I, I got the number wrong, but... Look at that. That's a that's a nice chunk of money we got there with the with all the stacking we did. 15k per run. That's a lot of that's a lot of money right there. So whether you're doing EXP or money, these are the this is the method you want to use. At least if you're at this point in the game. If you're farther, mission 43 is the one, like I said. So that's how you get money and exp quickly in this game 
I don't know if I'm going to be doing a whole lot of tutorials for this game just because there's not a whole lot that needs to be taught. And I can't show you how to do certain quests because, you know, Atlas is embargo. So, yeah. I won't I probably won't have that many videos for this game. But if you're looking for tutorials, I'm, I'll show you how to do everything that I can do within my power. So make sure you like and subscribe if you like what you saw here. And see you guys later. And I'm out. Later, losers.